Now, this is uh, restricted to HTML5 outputs only, but what you can do is create uh, media elements for your actual web page. Now, in this example, we're using YouTube, and you'd have to check the website for the support that we have, but we do have various types, uh, for instance, Wave, MP3, MP4, uh, OOG, WMV, etc. Now, what you have to do for objects is basically just draw a shape, and you'll see this here that this is an actual shape. Uh, this is just a square. You only really need to define the regions and the position as to where you want this media element an export kit will place it there for you now in this case we've added YouTube and you can denote here by the object and the type is YouTube and what we've done is we've added our actual uh, video link and you can get this from your URL of your YouTube video now once we export this what will happen is that it will create a YouTube object on the page uh, and there are a few uh, restrictions to that also and we'll discuss this uh, when it exports now there's not much you need to do um let's just enable relative positions because that's uh, generally accepted practice so once we export this we can actually test it and let's just open up Firefox now you'll see off the bat what we have is our shape and immediately you'll think that this didn't work and that's actually incorrect the problem is that YouTube in particular now this would not have been the case had you used another object but YouTube will not run locally and when I say locally you'll see that what we're doing is we're loading an actual HTML5 from our C drive if you want YouTube to work you'll have to upload this to your server or actually have a local host running which in our case we do so let's just switch and test it and you'll see our YouTube video works immediately again remember YouTube does not work locally you have to use this on a server